Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. We have a tragic update to a shooting that happened over the weekend in the uptown neighborhood. A 23 year old woman who was shot has died. So her two very young children are in the hospital. They are still fighting for their lives. They're critical. And now we have our first look at the suspects police say are responsible. WJZ is live tonight. Jessica Albert shows us the photos and has new details about what happened that night. Jessica. Denise and Nikki, Baltimore police say that that mother and her two children were innocent bystanders. They were in that intersection just trying to pick up food that night. Baltimore police have released new photos of the suspects wanted so that you can help identify them. A young mother has died two days after being shot in the Upton neighborhood. Baltimore police say the people you see on your screen are responsible. The shooting happened Saturday night on Pennsylvania Avenue around 6.30. Investigators released several photos of the suspects. They're wearing all black. The photos showed them inside a store and outside with guns drawn. Three people were shot, 43-year-old Gerald Folks, who died that night, another man who survived, and that young mother, 23-year-old Maya Morton. Police Police say Morton was in a car with her three-year-old and one-year-old sons waiting on a food order when shots rang out. Investigators say she was hit while trying to drive away. She crashed her car into a pole nearby. Her two kids were injured in the crash. Both of them are critical in the hospital. We spoke to a community activist who does a lot of work in the Upton community. She's calling for stiffer penalties for violent offenders. No normal person wakes up and says, I'm going to shoot into a car. Mm -hmm. with children in it and, and kill a mom. Like, people that do that don't need to be on the street. Uh, so what are we doing to stop it? And if you would like a better look at those photos that police release, you can find them on our website, WJZ.com, and on our social media. We have them up there for you. And again, Baltimore police are trying to identify these people. So if you know who any of them are, you're asked to contact them immediately. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.